Hi guys, welcome, welcome to, to NYC. NYC. Well, it's Friday night, and you know what that means. Another night, another speakeasy. That's and where are we right. headed tonight? Tonight we're headed to Dirty Precious. It reminds me of my precious. <laughs> yeah, it's a great name, that's for sure. Um, it is located in Guanas in Brooklyn. Actually pretty close to one of my favorite bars, maybe my favorite bar, period. Let's say it at uh, the same time, City, ready? Which is called... One, two, three. Lavender, Lavender Lake. Lake. Uh, I knew he was going to say that. I love that place. I don't know, I, I can't quite put my finger on why. Um, just the vibe and everything about it. And we've had alumni event there every year, so... Every year we go back there, I get a year older, but it stays exactly the same. So there's some, something to be said about that. Maybe we'll do NYC there at some point. But yeah, I I this place is right by there. I've never been, but it's a, a cute, uh, well, I don't know if cute's how you describe it, but it's a, a, a small, tiny little um, cocktail bar slash speakeasy that's kind of hidden over there. Um, it's a very kind of unmarked front and um, yeah, it looks really good. The other thing I could say, I looked at the menu and I it was organized into, uh, I think, easy, boozy, and booziest, or boozier. <laughs> You'll uh, be going for the boozier. Exactly. I'll be probably going for the boozier or maybe the one in the middle, the yeah. boozy. So I always like when they do that. I don't want to get a cocktail and not, not have anything, any alcohol in it. So uh, I like that they're kind of doing that, that uh, notation. So anyway, we're going to go check it out now. It's a bit far from here, but uh, all good things are worth waiting for, and uh, we're going to head out now, and we'll see you there probably in more or less an hour. See you soon. Maybe we'd sit farther than back, you know? Yeah. Hi guys. Well, we're here. I got myself the rose-colored glasses because I see the world with rose-colored glasses, of course. And my drink has tequila, rhubarb, ginger, and something else, rose vermouth. I'm not sure what that is. Not vermouth, but vermouth. Um, it's really delicious, very strong. Whew. It's one of those you could just, you know, kind of smell the alcohol before you taste it, but it is great. It is off of the booziest menu. So, you know, there's the easy, boozy, and the booziest. This is the booziest, uh, for good reason, too. And it has a nice lime peel inside, as you can see. Um, we're really enjoying this place. Very nice atmosphere. I feel calm, relaxed. They have lots of plants and greenery. I love the white uh, brick, the exposed brick. Yeah, just really enjoying this place. Alright, so we are here enjoying it at Dirty Precious. The drink I had first is called the Seaway, and the description is Look Out. It says it is mezcal, element flernum, grapefruit, and orange bitters, and uh, twist. Um, so it's delicious. A little smoky, obviously. I always go for mezcal. Grapefruit and orange, so it's got the nice citrus flavors. Uh, smokiness, and it's obviously very strong. It's in the, it's in the uh, booziest section, which is what I like. So, as you see, I've had most of it already, but it's delicious. Have a great time here. I'm about to get some orange juice. It's a beautiful drink. It's a very cool name, also. The Hurdy Gurdy Man. Like, Hurdy Gert Gurdy Man. And it has um, tequila, apricot, saffron, lemon, and egg white. And you can actually smell it. So you can smell the egg white when you go to sip it. It's really a very delicious drink. I finished it. Obviously, I enjoyed it. Um, it's sweet, but it has it's, it's a nice balanced flavor. It's not too sweet by any means. Um, but it also doesn't taste like I'm drinking straight liquor, so I appreciate that. I got my water, I got my drink, and then this delicious 
macaroni and cheese, which we've almost finished, as you can tell. And it has Gruyere cheese, um, I think, uh, cheddar, and one other thing, which I will tell you about. And breadcrumbs, garlic breadcrumbs, yeah. Oh, our waitress told us it would ruin us. And it has, I'll tell you it has. And that's it. My second drink is also in the booziest category. It may have been a bad decision, but no, I think it was a great decision. This one is called the Nults and the Old Commodities. Interesting name. It's um, pineapple rum, apple jack, sherry, pineapple amaro, and all spice strand. Very boozy. Um, let's see, it's a good sipping drink because you get so much of each sip. Pineapple. It's also that allspice gives it a nice kind of uh, warm, warm warmth to it. Um, so it's not just pure citrus, it has the warmth to it. Really good. Delicious. So the reservation was originally only for two hours, basically um, 8.30, no, 8.45 to uh, basically 10.45, but um, they let us stay. They're, they're nice, they're, they're flexible, they're chill. Uh, so it's now like 11.45, we actually stayed for three hours. We had a great time. I just want to do a quick bathroom view. Um, we haven't done one of these in a while, but I mean, this bathroom is just really cool. I mean, it's got beautiful, warm lighting, this amazing wallpaper, this amazing mirror, which you could see here. Um, it's just very cozy. I mean, I can see myself setting up a, um, an office in here, really. Like, if I were like an architect, I could see myself working from here in a nice office with this wallpaper and this beautiful light with the, uh, the uh, patterns and everything. Man, um, the only downside really is, is someone uh, visited this bathroom right before me, apparently, and um, there's a bit of a small lingering, but can't blame them on the bathroom. Maybe the person had, you know, some burritos for dinner. But anyway, Besides that, man, this is a really cool place. We've had a great time here. Um, and uh, that's all I have to say, but man, this wallpaper, oh, this mirror, look at this, look at this. Beautiful, beautiful. No, I have it facing you mostly. Why? Hmm. We just got back from Dirty Precious. We did. What a night. Uh, it was a great way to spend a Friday night. Um, and it definitely deserves its rating on Yelp. Mm. And we will be contributing to that rating. Um, and I will, will be giving it five stars because honestly, it's a great place to go. It's a nice little street. You're a corner. In Guanis. Um, mm. It has just a cool Let's vibe. Check. The outside, um, if you if you weren't looking at say like the uh, the sign, they have a sign out on the street right now. But if that wasn't there, hmm. kind of like a um, indescript, uh, indescript, is that a word? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Location, not a lot of sign. It's just kind of like a, a storefront. And you <laughs> go in, they have really neat lanterns. Um, really neat lighting in there. Um, it's just a cool little place. It's very chill too, it's very relaxed. You don't feel pressure to get your next drink. It's just like everyone's there having a good time. Um, the owner was there and actually was the one kind of uh, waiting the tables. She was so nice, she was awesome. She had a uh, cute little dog. Totes um, was his name. Totes, cute little bulldog. And Totes, it was very interesting. She gave us the story oh. of Totes. I guess he was born with um, both, both parts, right? And they decided to name him, in totality, Totes was his name. So, Totes in totality. Totalmente. So, Totalmente. Yeah. Um, but yeah. She was so nice. I, I, like, I really love that. I think it makes a big difference when mm. you just have that kind of warm welcome from the owner. And mm -hmm. you know, what, what, what more do you want? Obviously, she had poured a lot of her heart and soul into the place. and. Mm -hmm. You could tell it just, you know, had a lot of, and it was such a cool place. Like, I, I think it's so cool to, to be someone who has.
had a dream to create a, a place like a cocktail bar and then mm. in New York City and then you see it come to fruition and it's it's so cool inside I mean I'd, I'd like if I were her I'd be very proud um, the drinks Same. are great I love the way they're organized into uh, <laughs> categories based on the, the strength essentially yep they got all of the drinks in the Booziest category, if you couldn't tell. I did. Besides my last, I had the two first two I had were in the booziest section. I meant to have the first and last be booziest and the middle not be, but I, I confused them probably because the first drink was so boozy. <laughs> um, but this, the last one I had actually, which we didn't get on camera, but it was um, in the second section. I kind of referred to it as like, I was like, basically, this is the best coffee I, I ever had. And I would drink this every morning. And then I also oh, said yeah. that would probably make me an alcoholic if I did. Yeah. Uh, because that drink was called a um, memory palace, um, let's say spicy coffee. nostalgia. It had vodka, cold brew, um, and angel liqueur, cacao, and espresso. So it was basically like a cold brew es uh, espresso mix with plenty of vodka in there and some spiciness. Um, and it was, man, it was good. It was, it was just like very. It just had like a richness to it that was so good. Um, that is really what you want in coffee in general, but especially alcohol coffee. It's great. And then um, at the end of the night, we each had three. We shared one more drink, um, which was called the Damn Sun in a dress. And that one was um, Damn Sun in Slow Gym, Aquavit, Lemon, Bubbles, and Absinthe. So we ended the night with a little Absinthe, which is always fun. Now Mike is feeling himself. I am. Um, I wanted to eat a little something to balance things out, but unfortunately that popcorn we've made is, is um, well, it's it's in there and now it's in there. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> we're not be getting a lot of that tonight. So I'll have to find okay. another solution, but it was a great night. We had a great time there. Um, such a cool little, little cocktail bar. It's places like this that we really want to survive and yeah. and thrive, really, and um, you know, with COVID and everything. So these are the kind of places you got to support for sure. So if you have, if you want, if you're in in that area in Brooklyn and Guanas, and you want to check out a cool cocktail bar and go get some delicious drinks, because I guarantee they'll be delicious. Definitely head to Dirty Precious. Um, I mean, it's a great name, it's a great bar, and. Uh, I, it's a great time too. Um, yeah, and we also got we also ordered the mac and cheese. Oh yeah, the mac and cheese was amazing. Made with Gruyere cheese and cheddar cheese, and it had garlic breadcrumbs. Oh, it was so, so good. good, so good. So definitely consider that. But anyway, we're gonna call it a night tonight. We had a great time there, Dirty Precious. As always, we are very happy that we went out. Thank you for accompanying us. Yeah, thank you for joining us on that journey. Cheers, guys. Right, have a good night.